Okay. <laughs> so your question is regarding the salt trap, what about the people who have near death experiences? Yeah. Um, the answer to which is I know nothing. So I'm going to ask Charlie, uh, see if he can enlighten us. Okay. So a human being dies, sort of, but he is resuscitated, he comes back to life. I appreciate that there are many different types of people, different levels of experience, different levels of congruity. But if we could take an average, can we take an average? Okay. Um, you said, Astrid, do they, do they touch soul? Do they touch soul? Do they go to soul? Like, why, why come back? What's holding them back? So, first of all, are there experiences... This is a generalized, okay, not individual, generalized. Are their experiences real? No. Is this in part their imagination? It is. The images, that information that they bring back, is this from, no, it's not the subconscious, it's from their unconscious. So it is from their unconscious, the collective unconscious. Um, do some of them, do some of them, move, reconnect with their soul, to which, of, yes, they do. Some people, or should I say, the soul fragment of some individuals will reconnect with the soul. Fleetingly, very fleetingly. Um, so are they pulled back? They willingly go back. So they willingly, some of them do manage to connect with the soul of which they are a part, but they willingly come back because their experience is not ended. So that there's a mutual realization both from the soul and from the soul fragment that they need to come back. Is it as simple as that? Yeah. It's as simple as that. Yeah, but some of them are are able to um, see in the future to go back because there will be a child. And so okay, they hold choose. On. Hey, keep, hold on. Keep, keep it a little bit at a time. So Astrid asks, some of them are able to see into the future. No, they're not. Um, the ego can never see into the future. Uh, the soul can. And the soul may impart that information to the ego um, because it's necessary for that individual, for whatever reason, mm -hmm. to reconnect in that way. Um, it is as simple as that. It's not. It's no more. It's not complicated. There's there's nothing else going on apart from that. Uh, the soul fragment is not finished. It cannot rejoin. It cannot go back to its soul because there are other soul fragments from past lives that still need to be rejoined. And it can only be done in the present life mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or a future life. Yeah, next. So the, the soul fragment cannot go back to soul till all the fragments have been reunified. And, and, what about, and what about all these images of divine light and connecting with the light and, and all that that's what surrounded them, which made them believe they are back in, in what they call the heaven or a divine place. What about that? Um, well, I don't know. So what about that? Uh, that's imagination. That's imagination interpreting their connection with soul. Yeah. 
ego can only interpret what it has no direct experience of. And we've got loads of images uh, in the collective unconscious that um, can generate all those images for us as a way of interpreting what's beyond the ego to, to know. Uh, it's an interpretation. Uh, one example of this is when I was a young lad and I was doing spiritual healing and I was with a group and we were, we were, we were doing healing on this person, this human being in between us. And we were, we were extending a shield of protection. And I saw um, the Virgin, the Virgin Mother, uh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus' mother, yeah. and uh, she was all dressed in blue, and there was a huge sort of blue thing from her surrounding everybody, and that was my ego interpreting what was actually happening. I there was an energy of protection in the group and my ego interpret that from the collective unconscious the archetype if you will of yeah. the virgin mother yeah. it's not the word it's not the virgin mother it's another word for that what would you what would you call With mother mary uh, I, the virgin the mary what? The Virgin Mother doesn't sound, it doesn't sound quite right, the Virgin Mother. But anyway, yeah. Yeah. Mary, yeah. the the mother of Jesus. Yeah. Uh, so I interpreted an event, yeah. My my subconscious connected with the unconscious, brought the information so that I understood what I had seen with my ego. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? But it was an interpretation. Mm -hmm. And so that is a good simile to take on board uh, as to what people experience. We all interpret. We, we have no choice but to. We have a, a limited vision of the unknown. Um, there, there are times when... the experience bypasses some of their their traumas their fears and strengthens the connection with their soul fragment this can then leave them with abilities which are inherent in all of us, but which were closed because of their traumas. Yeah. So something opened up within them as a result of that experience, which now allowed a flow um, from their soul fragment. Or, yeah, that's what you. Just, often, that's what you often hear. Of there are many in the in the spiritual community which had a near death experience and came back with more abilities than they had before they uh, had that near that experience right. so yeah um it's also true to say that in most cases not all and not some but in most cases people who have this experience is by design it's not accidental mm -hmm. Okay, it is pre-planned by soul. Yeah. Um, it is a way of waking them up uh, yeah. to a greater or lesser extent yeah. uh, to the world beyond us. Because most of us are lost in this world. Um, we, we're, we're so lost in our egos that all we see is what's in front of us. And of course, in this modern age, where everybody's got a tablet or a phone, and it's like a constant, constant 
there is very little time to just be, be in nature, be with oneself. And of course, the world is designed that way. It is designed to stop us being in ourselves. Yeah. So we need an external shock sometimes to make that, oh, hold on a minute. There is more to this world than I have thought there is up till now. Yeah. Because our minds are way too busy and way too strong. So some people have these experiences. I'm not saying you should have that experience, but some people have this experience. Most people have most people who have these experiences do so because they are pre-planned by soul. As a way of waking them up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you for that question. That another question. Go on, because yeah. I'm gonna make a little YouTube out of this. So go on. Sorry? You I'm gonna do me? a little YouTube. I'm gonna do a little YouTube out of this. So go on. Yes, okay, no problem. Um what about uh, that 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 uh, that field where you go to when you pass the energy? Is that something which is created by uh, uh, the divine, or is it something which is created by archons to let us stay here to to return to back to Earth to reincarnate? Wait, how is that related to um, to the archons? Have got, the archons yeah. have got nothing to do with this. Uh, those people who do have this near death experience, who has been pre-designed and they go up there i mean it's not that they go up there but essentially yeah. their soul fragment has been disembodied yeah. yeah yeah so it's been disembodied it connects with its soul the soul mm -hmm. the soul fragment connects with the soul of which it is a part the connection is that is made all of this is instantaneous as far as we're concerned and it realizes, it knows instantly, it has to come back. Yeah. That this it was it was meant to be. It's a wake up call, come back. The archons are neither here nor there. This is purely beyond that. But when we not uh, do not have a near death experience, but when we die, we we uh, enter a kind of realm where we stay to reincarnate at some point on earth. When the body dies, the ego dies, yeah. the soul fragment exists in a place beyond time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the ninth dimension of where our souls reside, they're beyond time. There is no time there. So from their perspective, a year, two years, a thousand years, it's all now. It's all this moment. So there is no, there are, they are in a, in a state of limbo uh, because that soul fragment is disconnected and fractured and it's simply waiting to reconnect. Okay. But that soul fragment doesn't come back. Another soul, so the soul will generate another soul fragment to embody another body in the future. So, so like this one's now, it's like a little ball in stasis. Now the soul is going to send another little bit to rescue that first one. In fact, there may be a few of them already, sends another one to rescue. So this is where we are today. So it's the one today, the soul fragment embodying us, that has the possibility of rescuing the ones from the past. Mm -hmm. This is why when we've done past life regression, when we've yeah. got it, this is why we connect with our love. We connect with the soul fragment at the moment of their death mm -hmm. to bring it into the fold, yeah. to heal that trauma at the time. That's how we heal mm -hmm. in the present. The other little bits, the little bits in limbo now, 
in the ninth dimension and the new ones come into the present. Yeah? Yeah. It's all but us, what, but not as the ego. It's all us as the spirit. But there are people who are saying they're coming to, uh, uh, for the first time to Earth. They had another lifetime somewhere else and they come here for the first time. So they are not traumatized and whatever at all. And they are able to really, after this life, go straight back where they came from. That is possible, uh, most definitely. That is definitely true. However, there are many souls which have come from other planets to help us. It's an ambitious plan. The problem is, every time that a soul comes onto this earth, they're subjected to the, to the, the energies which are suppressing everything. They are, they are born to parents who are damaged. They are born into a society that's damaged. And it, it doesn't matter how together they were. When they're born here, they have to start from scratch. So they're stuck with the rest of us. And that's the problem. So being a wise old soul doesn't stop you from being a nightmare of a human being. <laughs> <laughs> because until we still have to deal with the traumas in this childhood. Yeah. Forget about anywhere previous lifetimes. Just in this in this lifetime, yeah. we, we have to clear our heads from all the indoctrination, the belief systems. We have reconnect our disassociated bodies. We have learned. We have got to learn to experience emotional intensity. Mm -hmm. You know, it's there's so much that we need to do. And some people don't make it. This is why, digressing slightly, but this is why I and about 200 million souls will stay behind at the end. Because there will be around 25,000 souls who need to wake up who must wake up, but they struggle to wake up. And even if you come from another planet, if you get traumatized here and you die here, you're stuck here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. And so that's why some of us are going to stay behind, just to help. This is what Charlie tells me. I don't know anything. This is what Charlie tells me. So this is why out of 25,000 souls who will still be stuck at the end of it, because after the 15 years, the suppressive energy comes back. Yeah. Um, so six, seven years later, those who haven't managed to clear the parapet, they're stuck here. But there'll be a few of us not many in the scheme of things, but enough who will keep stay here with an open heart, generating the vibrational energy required to help them. And not all of them will succeed. I think there's something like about six or seven thousand. So <laughs> <laughs> We're doing that for about six or seven thousand out of the twenty-five. Uh, um, however, if we don't do that, they're gonna get stuck here forever. God knows how long. Um, so <laughs> that's 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 the plan according to Charlie. All right. Thank you very much, Astrid, for that. <laughs>